Hello, and welcome back to Bat and Kaito's Origins, where today we're going to go see what our smokescreen has done. So let's get on up there. I can hear it. Hey, look, it's a smokescreen, but we got to fight this guy first. Swapping a Millie, because she's got a weapon right away. to follow up with here. Had a pretty decent opening, but now we've got nothing to keep the momentum going. Uh, let's go ahead and have Millie just heal herself. Kilo can drop those. Now, Gilo can use some of this. Alright, so one enemy's down. That's something. Down. And it's plenty dead. And apparently, I can just hit the X button to cancel a relay without actually having them act as if their turn is being delayed. That's good to know. A predictable win. All right, so now we can just get right on by those statues. And see what's up here. Hey, look, it's Giacomo. Uh, him again? Giacomo. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The irony of it all is killing me. The irony of what? Just when I thought my career was finished, I look over at the stairs. <laughs> and it's you! Are you obsessed? A koa monkey in heat wouldn't be this clean. Say what you will, but you're my ticket back to the Empire, Sagi. And every good ticket has to get punched. Eh, I feel like you need to work on the line there, buddy. Oh, their blades are bloody. All right, well, we got to get rid of Giacomo's friends before we deal with him, because otherwise we're just going to have extra damage sources. And that's not good for our health and continued well-being. So we're not taking too much damage just yet. That's good considering how much Giacomo wiped the floor with us last time. Oh, way to just raise everyone's defense. Um, let's go ahead and heal Gilo. All right, that's one down. I 
apparently I can choose targets for people even before they take their turn. That's really useful. Or like between when I choose what cards to use and when they actually attack things. That also explains why enemies have been able to do the same to me. All right, we got Giacomo alone. And we've got a little bit of healing here. Let's go ahead and put that on Soggy. And then Soggy can't really do much, so we'll just have him pitch that. Uh, I hope I don't end up regretting it. getting some cards out of here. And Gilo could use a little bit more health. See how that works. Giacomo definitely is not being as nasty to us this time as he was last time, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Let's give Millie some health, though. Don't want to have to eat my words. There it is. Still, not terrible like it was last time, because it used to be basically a one-shot. Get Kilo some health. Meant to toss that as well. Built up a pretty decent... Oh, the poison got him. Yeah, that was surprisingly easy. And we all leveled up, so it would be even easier afterward, I guess. And that marvelous sword may or may not be amazing. I don't know. I lost again. And easier than the last time, too. Is it because you're a spiriter? It can't be. Power. I want power! Uh, too bad? Overwhelming strength beyond that of any man. I'd give everything I have for that. Why does he push himself like that? I feel a little bad for him now. It's because he doesn't want to lose to us. Uh, me too. Yeah. He drives himself over the edge just to find some kind of purpose. You know, maybe I don't feel bad. Maybe I envy him. Soggy, this, this isn't, isn't what, what we're, we're here, here for. Ready to go? You okay, buddy? No, oh, he's not okay. Hey, Rodolfo. How did you get in? What happened to the guards? What is Giacomo doing? Yeah, uh, he's having a little nap. Calm down. We're, We're not going, going to eat you. Master Rodolfo, let's start over. My name is Saki. I'm here on Quaster Varus's business. Quaster? Prove it. Communicator go? 
You can speak with him yourself using this communicator. Give me that. It's a very Japanese thing, bowing an apology to people you on the must phone. Be soggy. The quester told me about the situation. I apologize for being so rude. You don't have to apologize. Just tell us why you're helping the Empire with Promachination. I think you're getting ahead of yourself. I have no intention of helping them. What do you mean? All I want is their gold. I plan to milk the Empire for as much money as I can. And you're just coming out and saying it. What a noble thing to say. Yeah, I know it sounds selfish. Didn't you say you're from the Empire? Tell me what you think of Sadal Su. It's alright. Um... Our chief products are pows, mountain apples. Not exactly the land of the future, my friend. Hey, mountain apples are pretty great. We've got a lot of catching up to do. You know it. What's worse, we don't even have a leader. Someone's got to stand up and show people here the road to a better life. Good speech. That, that must, must be, be why you left at the idea of pro machination. You've got it backwards. I'm trying to take leadership before some other nation dumps their ideas on us. Oh, okay. I may not dress the part, but I was born and raised in Sadal Su. Not about to hand it over to the Empire. Once they fatten my wallet, they could pack up their prognostication and haul it on out of here. Uh, I'm sorry. Did did you say prognostication? Because that's not what your text bubble says. You believe any of this? Yeah, let's trust him. Master Rodolfo, we can trust you, right? You don't have to trust me. After all, it's just as true that I want the lordship so I can pamper myself silly. It's very true. <laughs> Hughes! Very disappointing, Rodolfo. I thought you were more clever than that. Uh-oh. If it isn't Master Hughes. If you heard all that, I guess there's no talking my way out of it. Here's how it is. I'm not letting you take her with Sadal Su. This is my land to defend. How long you want. But you're not leader material. Power corrupts people like you. It does. What? Like, even after all this, in Baton Kaitos, he... He freaking entertains Giacomo. If you're done with the pretenses, then so am I. Promachination's ready to go, with or without your approval. Sagi, come to Munki Valley. I know you won't want to miss this. Oh, is it going to be something fun? For the record, the answer is no. And what's in here? Neat. Let's actually see what we can put in Soggy's deck. Or rather, in the deck, because Soggy's deck is everyone's deck. Come on, all the way down. This D pad. GameCube D pads are bad. Alright, that is really good doesn't have the poison causing or the lowering ice defense or the HP restore, but considering it's better in every other way and by quite a bit on the attack front, 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And that, too, is pretty dang nice. It's not as good durability-wise, but the other things are good. And it's light damage, which tends to be good against things from the Empire. So let's head on down to Nunki Valley. See what's going on. Can I take these mountain apples? Nope. This guy's still here. I think I might take a quick stop over at the shop just to see what are, can I take these? Oh, yes. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see what, if anything, I can use to upgrade these new swords. Never gonna get used to that face. Oh, and apparently we've got new letters. From Gina, huh? Doing fine. Yeah, Millie's alright. Uh, you got that right. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's the one more able to race ahead. Alright, so if we want to upgrade, then we want to find those new weapons. I'm not not seeing them. Are they not upgradable, or is it because they're in the deck and not? Or no, because we've been able to upgrade things that were already in our deck. So I guess that means they can't be upgraded. Or at least not here. Whatever. Let's head on out. And actually, we're gonna... Okay, we can't pass by Nuki Valley. I was gonna say we're gonna pass by Nuki Valley and go to Sebelrai and get some apples, because apparently apples are really helpful to have, but... Uh, yeah, that's... that's not good. Look, Soggy! Promachination's already begun! And why does Promachination involve burning the valley? Koyster, Promachination in Sidal Sud is underway. What about Rodolfo? Rodolfo opposes Promachination, but Hughes pushed forward against his wishes. Can you stop him by force? We'll try, sir. But he's likely to bring out a Machina Arma. I don't think we can stop him if he does. Koyster. Can you send us any backup? The Ohite has a lot of war, even in the army. I can't make things happen the way I used to. This is an embarrassing thing for the head of military affairs to say. But right now, you're all I can count on. Oh. I understand. We'll do our best, sir. Thank you. Well, at least with the start of Promachination, they added a shiny new treasure chest, and hey, it's these jerks again. Hopefully they don't game over me. cards we had or used did nothing but add to our MP meter. It really bothers me how sleep literally just... It not only prevents them from acting, it steals any turn they had queued up. And the fact that any of these five enemies can cause sleep... 
It's, it's not great. Not gonna lie. Especially because in this game, there's no like, oh, hey, I can just passively equip an equipable and have this character be immune to or very resistant to whatever status. No, we gotta actually find something that makes them resist sleep in our deck and then equip it in place of like a weapon. It's not great. That's one thing that I am not a huge fan of in this game is just there's some things they could have done to make combat against just regular enemies a little less trying. to just get to that. We would have seen something special. I mean, this was already more than enough, but... Hey, buddy, you want to stop burning the forest? Skip Saki there, but oh well. There we go. Actually got some cards to use. Wait, does this... Does the fact that I can swap enemy targets after queuing up an action mean that I can also swap healing targets after queuing it up if, say, someone dies? This bears testing. Though, maybe not until someone dies after I try to heal them. Which, looking at Millie's health, could happen if we had any healing items to try and use on her. And there she goes. Probably should have used one of these instead of having Gilo attack. And she almost went right. Oh, never mind. Never mind on the almost. Oh, healing yourself, huh? And then... Oh, but I, I can't change healing targets unless I've got another healing item to do. Okay, so that was too late to even try. But maybe at some point if I have another healing item, we can... Give it a shot. Ah, but not during this battle. Alright. Time to grab this shiny new chest that they left here when they started Promachination. That's not amazing. How about you? I should have equipped the sword. Not used to that sword being a thing, so it didn't stick out as, oh yeah, that's a thing that you should equip right now. Ice 
And that guy had a bad time. And Soggy can heal himself. We'll test when we're not in a position to need quite so much healing. So let's put that on Gilo, but then... Okay, she went right away, so we couldn't get any accurate data from that. So if Millie uses the thing on Gilo... Nope, okay, so it doesn't work. At least now we know. So maybe the reason that Soggy targeted the non jackamo guy during the Jackamo fight is just because it was the designated next target anyway. Alright, down here we go. Hey look, some flame ice. Also this guy. Well, that's not a great opening hand. Really not a great opening hand. Poor Millie. Ice fan. Gotta get some group damage going. And Millie's down again. She can heal herself. Finally, we get a weapon that someone can actually equip on their turn. Got a few too many of these, though. And again, with how much damage these guys are doing, maybe it's just enough. We'll see. The point may come where we can no longer sustain our healing output. Only one won't be enough to fully heal Gilo, so we've got two heals going at Gilo. Oh, good. We got a stun on one of them. Who said you should help? Shouldn't have had Saki do the relay there. Yep, guy's already dead before Saki touched him. Now I can do a relay combo all I want, because there's only one enemy. And down he goes. Nice. So, what are you doing with Flame Ice here? I'm not an arsonist. So, apparently we want to grab three Flame Ice. So I'm going to go ahead and grab three Flame Ice. Oh. We're not going to need all this salty water, I don't think. At least I hope not. Yeah, we're 
we're not going to need that flower. So now we can grab two more flame ice. All right, so we can't go further south, so let's go back up and see if we can do anything with our flame ice. And apparently fighting the dudes doesn't help us. But we gotta fight these, because they aggro do us. If I had waited a little longer for Gila to actually take his turn, we could have used Ice Bloom. Yeah, Millie's target didn't change here, so I was misled by the game just automatically targeting the non Giacomo guy. That's a shame. It would have been a nice mechanic if I could change people's targets between when I set their attacks to go and when they actually go. Yeah, we got ice. And now there's a bridge. I was really kind of hoping these flamethrower dudes would stay despawned after we killed them. But no. Seems they want to just stick around. So now we're over here. We could get more flame ice if we want. But I don't think we want right now. What we want is to drop down here and give some ice to this crane. Wait. Ah, okay, we do have two. Good. Oh, and this one decides to start running and just fall over, huh? Really? Do these guys have death wishes? Like, ordinarily, if a forest is on fire, the wildlife doesn't try and attack people. It tries to run and just leave as fast as possible. Source, I live in California, which often burns down. Missed the one, but that's fine. We just left it for Millie as well. Yes, it was definitely intentional. May my blade be sharp. And we win. imagine it'll be super useful here, though. I'm 
So why there does he just jump using his feet instead of his wings? More ice. Cool, now we can get that chest. But, for curiosity's sake, can we leave? We can. Now let's get some apples. Because apples are good to hold. Where are the apples? Can I not get apples? Are these apples? Nope. Um, I was told I could get free mountain apples in Sebori. Where are they? Did I miss them? Are they in the stable that I can't enter? Uh, I guess I missed them. Maybe now isn't the time. I wonder why. Alright, let's head on up here. Get our hands on that. Not amazing, but it'll do. There's this guy still waiting here. Yeah, here's open. Um, I need to actually cross to that flower and chest using not the crane. So let's do that. That also was not amazing. And we'll go ahead and end this episode here. So join us next time when we almost certainly fight a boss, because that's what these orange flowers mean. See you then, friends.